Congressman Mark Huangkapoyo ng Pangasinan. He is posing for uh, nuclear uh, energy na gamitin na natin dito po sa Pilipinas. Just like uh, yung ano, uh, ginawa noon sana. Kaya lang. Si Congressman Huangkapoyo ng Pangasinan. Uh, nag-privilege speech dito sa Congress asking for the uh, replacement ng uh, Department of uh, Energy Secretary for being negligent uh, hindi nga nag-attend sa uh, conference ko sa Switzerland may relasyon po sa clean energy so ito yung in in nasa interpellation siya ngayon sabi ko po doon sa PLP Secretary, mag-ingat po kayo dyan kahit ginagamit po kayo excuse sa delays. Eh, sila naman ang lead agency, hindi po kayo. Bakit sa inyo pinapol? So, ganun po ang pangyayari dyan. Pasa-pasa po. As recently as this afternoon, I have uh, been in uh, ex-communication for, for the ano, sana paggamit ng nuclear energy dito sa ating bansa. Kasi sabi niya po, mga kababayan, uh, yung nuclear energy, very safe siya. Hindi niya po ako mabigyan ang sagot. Kailangan na ang schedule ng ulit. O pababayaan na lang na mag-lunch. At uh, tama si dating Pangulong Marco Senior for establishing nuclear power sana. Chairman Committee of Nuclear on Energy. Maraming po dyan, may balak na mag-nuclear na. Pagbasahin mo po ang 22 countries. Uh, Ukraine, Sweden, Slovenia, Slovakia, Poland, Netherlands, Morocco, Mongolia, Moldova, Hungary, Ghana, Finland, Czech Republic, Canada, Bulgaria, Japan, South Korea, France, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates at United States po. Ngayon, dalawang put lima na po ito. Hindi ko po alam kung sino yung nadagdag dito. Ngunit lahat po itong bansa ay uh, anxious na magkaroon ng karagdagan o bagong nuclear capacity sa kanilang mga bansa. Mr. Speaker, uh, as chairperson of that special committee on nuclear energy, Knowing the importance of this technology to save the stability and reliability of our uh, electrical system, which uh, I think last December and this January in Panay and Negros Island, we experienced uh, a four days uh, blackout. Uh, based on NGCP, there are power plants who uh, is in force outage. So there is a lack of power uh, supply. So with the information, Mr. Speaker, being the words by the gentleman, uh, as chairperson of the Committee on Nuclear Energy, how can you maximize the uh, Davos Fora, no, attended by those uh, countries, to uh, convince even the president, to convince even the president, to uh, have an urgent look at this nuclear technology for our power supply portfolio. Paano po natin maximize ang paggamit yan? Uh, Mr. Speaker, para makumbinsi yung ating Pangulo uh, na bigyan ng uh, kahalagaan you know, in the urgent possible uh, 
uh, as, as soon as possible na mabigyan ka halagahan ang usaping ito, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, uh, maganda po ang tanong. Uh, tayo po ay siniswerte dahil doon po sa deklarasyon doon sa COP28 in-announce din na, na there will be a uh, nuclear summit sa Belgium uh, March 21 to 22, 2024 sa Brussels sa Belgium. Imbitado po ang lahat ng members din po. Sana po uh, puntahan ng ating Pangulo dahil doon niya po ay makikita ang uh, commitment nitong uh, dalawat dalawang po't ibang bansa at talaga itutulang na ang nuclear power mula ngayon. So, uh, dapat niya rin na uh, siguro mabibig sa kung uh, mismo ng uh, ibang leaders dito kung bakit nila medyo pinatalikuran ang Wendell Sola. Ang number one po reason niya ay yung uh, intermittency na hindi naaasahan lagi, lalo lalo, lalo na uh, pagkailangan. Ang isang malaking dahilan po sa Panay ay yung uh, napakalaking uh, solar installation sa Bacolo. Uh, kung saan po pag bumaba na ang araw o magkaroon po ng kulimlim, eh, pagsak po ang generating capacity. Ang problema po, kulang ang spinning reserve to assure stability of the green. So, kanino po kasalanan niyan? For me, ang tingin ko dyan ay medyo may pagkukulang ang pagkano ng ating DOE. Kung ano ba talaga ang dapat ang mga reserve capacity sa bawat green po natin. And so, bakit po napapayag ng ganyan niyan? At kung sino-sino na lang ang sinisisi, tuwing magkakaroon and so, dapat po tignan ng Committee on Energy, hindi po yung committee natin, Committee on Energy, uh, ano ba ang status ng spinning reserve capacities natin sa lahat po ng sektor ng ating green. At uh, talaga po si Sain po nang mabuti, ano, ano ba ang katotohanan, ano ba ang punot dulo sa unreliable, unreliability ng ating uh, Para sa akin, hindi dapat ratuhin ang DOE as a sacred cow na hindi pwede niya uh, i-criticize. Tignan po natin ang katotohanan. Mr. Speaker, I fully agree with the gentleman that uh, I am not against for the record uh, renewable energy but I fully agree and I keep on saying this that if you have uh, bigger power plants uh, uh, from solar or wind, you also need you know, the same capacity of that power plant actually it's regulating reserve because every time intermittency uh, will occur, you need to regulate the frequency because it is the frequency of the grid that will lose down. So you need uh, regulating uh, reserve equivalent to that uh, capacity. So uh, on the part of the Committee on Nuclear Energy, uh, Mr. Speaker, I urge the gentleman to maximize the, the phosphora as well as uh, uh, with uh, the information that he has with the incoming another uh, pura to uh, uh, to entice no? uh, or uh, convince the leadership that we really need to look at this uh, technology, uh, nuclear technology, to solve our power supply problem. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, I'd just like to convey to everybody here and uh, my distinguished colleague, uh, Congressman Tagoo, that uh, on Wednesday at 1 p.m., we have a committee meeting in the Committee of uh, Nuclear Energy. Your uh, suggestion is I, I hope you will uh, uh, say.
stay there and uh, it expanded it there so that we could come to an action by the committee. Thank you uh, to my honorable gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Si Congressman Mark uh, Wangkopoyo ng Pangasinan, he is posing for uh, nuclear uh, energy na gamitin na natin dito po sa Pilipinas. Just like uh, yung ano, uh, ginawa noon sana. Kaya lang yung bata nuclear power plant po natin, hindi na natuloy, napulo. Kaya nga po sabi ni Congressman Mark uh, Wangko, from the very start niya, talagang tama si uh, dating Pangulong ano dating Pangulong uh, uh, Ferdinand Marcos Sr. sa pag-establish ano, pag ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. So yun ang ating short video mga kababayan. Ako po si Dante Maravillas dito po sa Kongreso. Uh, maraming salamat. Bye-bye.